On SME this morning, we have quite an interesting uh, guest in the house. Tulu Lope Ahmed is a co-founder of my fund, uh, who set up properties, uh, hostels across campuses, designed for sharing so that users can save towards only fractions for a lifetime rental income. Hmm. If you want to be a landlord, this is one way to start. Now, users, especially working class people, earn up to 20% return on investment while they save. It is great to have you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, what is this? My phone. What exactly is my phone? Okay, so my phone basically is a fractional property ownership platform in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, what we do basically is that we set up properties close to campuses across okay. the country okay. that are designed for sharing so that our users on the platform can save towards owning those properties for a lifetime rental income. So are you saying that you buy those properties? Are they in your portfolio or yeah. something? Or you use users' funds to... How does, how does the operation work? So yeah, there's a lot of different processes involved with uh, making those properties available. Okay. So some are bought, some are built, some okay. are partnered, some are okay. with developers. So, but what we make sure we have is that they are available for users to be able to, you know, uh, safe towards honing them. So what is the aim? To, what is the aim of all of this? Uh, yeah, excellent. So uh, the aim is to um, make the middle class thrive again. So mm. uh, according to statistics, there's a lot of um, uh, the middle class is disappearing. This age right now, yeah, is, you're either basically rich or poor. Yeah, yeah the, the middle class is disappearing. So mm. uh, according to a recent statistics, it says that more than 99% of um, Deposits in bank accounts are less than 500,000. Wow. Yeah, yeah so that. what we're yeah, trying to do that. is to ensure that people can have return on investment that is steady enough for the middle class to begin to actually thrive again. At the same time, is, uh, is that, that, that would also be solving the housing deficit problem, as it were, because there's still a housing deficit problem exactly. in the urban areas as it is, exactly. in Lagos as it is. Okay, but exactly. well, now you have quite a remarkable system of getting this. We are in a country whereby, look, we're not so used to the mortgage style system. People would rather procure. So how has it been so far running this particular system, knowing the kind of challenges we have here as a people? Is this something that people have accepted? Because, you know, yeah. uh, trust is one thing, especially when it comes to business yeah. like this. And then you are talking, it, it has to do with some level of trust. Yes. How's the acceptance been? Yeah. You're doing business so far. Yeah, you? so um, one of the things that uh, we did was we went out and we actually hacked and we did a good survey okay. to actually find out, you know, if people wanted this. Okay. And it turns out that most of the people that are active on our platform are working class people, retiring class people. Okay. And those abroad who would love to actually own okay. things like this. Okay. Uh, that, that can, they can't hone it where they are, but they can do that, you know, through a platform like ours, you know. So your platform, how does one onboard on your platform? Yeah, excellent. So you can actually access my fund on any of the uh, standard platforms on uh, the Apple App Store, on okay. the Android Play Store, or uh, on our website, myfundmobile.com. Uh, and then once users come on board, they can begin to save. And once the funds are big enough, then they can use them to buy properties on the platform, okay. earn the rent on the platform, mm -hmm. and then they can transfer that to their bank account. But now, now this is something I know a number of people who are who don't trust housing agents, as it were. I'm seeing an housing agent and all of that, but because of the experiences of some other people, we've had a lot of people who, even from abroad, they've sent money down to build their houses and everything, and then you come and find out, oh, this particular. I would say fund manager, maybe estate manager or whatever. We've had a lot of those situations. Yeah. Yeah. How do you convince someone who maybe has gone through this or who has heard about this and doesn't want to? How is my fund, yeah. you know, um, how, how are you building that trust? How, how, yeah. how can someone trust you? Exactly. So I, I tell people the, the, a true investment is mm -hmm. a combination of assets, liability and law. Okay. okay. So there is an asset, which is okay. the property, okay. which is a liability to the people living in it. Okay. And then there's a legal system that mm. ensures that the uh, people will continue to pay that rent. Okay. So there's a deed of agreement that ensures that whoever is buying, you know, has that piece of control 
over his property. But okay. in terms of maybe uh, trust, uh, we, we have uh, oversight. Yeah, we're registered uh, as an independent financial organization. So we have people that we report to that know our address, <laughs> you know. Mm. So, and then we, we you know, uh, we have uh, a strong, solid asset backing the funds, you know, which is real estate. Okay, now um, let's talk about peculiarly. What challenges have you been able to, uh, have you come across, have you been able to overcome doing such a business in Nigeria? Yeah, so uh, two main bottlenecks that we faced was mostly the tech side and of course the property side. Okay, mm. so the two main bottlenecks, you know, so, but now we develop, you know, we have the right team that develop all of our tech in-house. So we, we are very self-contained when it comes to, you know, uh, development. And then for the real estate side, we have a developer also on on the team we actually have several uh, developers we have a builder on the team mm. uh, several years of experience so mm. he handles all site activities so being able to eventually do these things in-house allowed us to overcome most of these challenges that can make maybe uh, developers begin to bail on us or things like that so it has helped us to put a little bit of control over, over uh, our assets yes all right now as it is as it is is there any minimum requirement for somebody to start doing business, to start saving, what are the ranges? What are the maybe the cadres available? Is there any minimum requirement of amount that one should do? Uh, are there any checks that you make on people who want to come on board yes. and on the lover? Talk to us about okay. that process. Okay, excellent. So uh, there is um, a savings a savings uh, wallet or system that allows people who may not currently have the total amount to mm. get into the property system okay. to start saving. So it's a savings platform. So okay. it allows people to actually save. So uh, and there's no minimum entry fee or something? Uh, for the lowest level, there is no minimum. But for the big uh, accounts that does better returns, okay. there's a minimum of 100K for each deposit. Okay. For, for each the, deposit? For each deposit. But okay. for the properties, I think our smallest units now currently are going for about uh, uh, 5 million. Okay. With a good return on investment of yearly rent. So uh you know it, 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 it's in those levels but in terms of beginning your journey to becoming a landlord okay you can almost start at any you can almost start yeah. now when you say the smallest is five million now can more than one person own that particular property or does it have to be one person how does it if, if, yeah. if, if people, have, own... people have asked that question and okay. what we could, what we've what we've said is you can own a property together with an account so you can come together okay have a single account to own those properties and then you can share the rent so that that agreement will be between the people who want to actually own that particular piece of the property right, now in the scale of things here is there is there any point where my fund will when it comes to collecting the rent is there any case that my fund is now out of it the deal maybe after procuring after helping them save and procure and everything does my phone at any point in time take themselves out and then okay you can layers with whatever agents or whatever you want to do and all of that no, no not really okay not really so my phone maintains the property okay so okay. allows the people to actually be able to earn the rental income without management worries okay. that's why it can be so done you'll be perpetual from... maintainers of the property that's exactly. what i said exactly okay so what what it, uh, and uh where does, how does my phone now make the money? Yeah, so we charge 10% uh, uh, on abrupt withdrawals, okay, for those who probably, uh, you know, people withdraw all the time, yeah, so we charge on withdrawals. We also earn from uh, the properties themselves, we earn from the sales of the properties and also a fraction of the rent that has been earned. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. I just want to, add, just on, on the horizon, what are you, what is my phone looking at? Is there... What's on the horizon? Next five, next ten years? How far do you expect to take this? Yeah. So uh, according to our plans, okay, we uh, see ourselves being one of the major contributors and players in the real estate industry in the next few years. Okay. And uh, we are looking at um, raising a family of at least one million financially free families by 2045. 2045. One million financially free families by 2045. So that's 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 what we're that's why we're targeting the the middle class. We're raising a family of landlords. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. And uh, well, this is all of us here wishing you the best <laughs> and uh, keep up with what you're doing. Thank I don't you. think it's something so easy to do. Thank you. But uh, well done. Thank you very well much. Done. Thank all right. You. So be, if you don't mind, we've got breakfast for you. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. So please come on. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. Yeah.